My name is Pia Jiang, and I'm a photojournalist and documentary photographer. My third photo is titled Victoria Peak Lit Up by Human Chain. After the Hong Kong Way of August 23rd, when 210,000 built a 60-kilometer human chain across Hong Kong, a second wave is launched on Middle Autumn Festival on September 14th. Human chains were formed at Victoria Peak for the first time. Numerous people used lantern and mobile phone to illuminate and sang Glory to Hong Kong, the theme song for the protester, which echoed throughout the peak. What did I take away from my time in Hong Kong? Hong Kong is a new Berlin in the new Cold War, said Joshua Wong, Hong Kong's own democracy activist, which appeared on Time magazine's cover at age 17. The heroic protests of Hong Kong won the respect of the world in their David versus Goliath fight against Beijing. In 2019, Beijing was humiliated when democracy activists pushed back against authority with unprecedented unity, tenacity, and the most massive protests the city have ever seen, with up to 2 million people marching peacefully on the street. Undaunted by unwarranted police brutality, who fired over 1,800 rounds of tear gas and vicious attack on unarmed citizens. The pro-democracy group also trounced the pro-Beijing parties in local council elections, winning 17 out of 18 districts. Contrary to China's claim, the Hong Kong crisis is not an internal matter. China violated its own international treaty promise signed together with UK and filed with the United Nations. China's promise that after Britain's 1997 handover, Hong Kong would be governed as an autonomous territory, entitled to all its accustomed rights and freedoms for at least 50 years, a promise that China called one country, two systems. On June 30th, this year, China has passed a sweeping draconian national security law for Hong Kong, which makes it easier to punish protesters and restrict the city's autonomy. Within hours of the enactment of the law, the Hong Kong police were out arresting people for carrying flags with pro-independent slogans. Books are being purged from libraries. Journalists and activists and the family members were arrested. About 200 police entered pro-democracy media office, Apple Daily, and searched for nine hours, taking away 25 boxes of material. Tenured professors involved with pro-democracy movement were fired. Regime mouthpieces and business were forced to voice support. This is textbook authoritarianism. The world must stand in solidarity with Hong Kongers against Beijing's breach of its own one country, two systems.